Hey everybody and welcome back to another Star Trek Online Let's Play. Uh, sorry I've been away for a little while. I got really, really sick. I uh, had strep throat, couldn't record, and now we're here. <laughs> uh, but anyways, I'm feeling better now and we are starting this series up again. Uh, so please sit back and enjoy uh, episode 4 of the Klingon War Story Arc. Uh, this week's episode is Stop the Signal. So let's get this started. We have decrypted some of the information you found at the Klingon listening post in the Paulson Nebula, and Starfleet Intelligence believes there is at least one more of these posts out there. We have the location of a signal repeater, which boosts the subspace transmission from these listening posts. Starfleet wants you to go to the Bomari system, find the signal repeater, and use it to track down the coordinates of the other listening post. When you have the location, transport a team down to the surface and take it out. We can provide you with spatial charges to get the job done. Can we count on you to keep Starfleet communications safe? Yeah, sure, why not? All right. Let's head to the Bomari system. And of course we're going to transwarp because ain't nobody got time for that. Captain, we are approaching the signal repeater. If we can get close enough, we can eavesdrop on the transmissions and determine the point of origin. Starfleet has reported hostile ships in this area, so we should be cautious. All right, here we are, and looks like we have to investigate a temporal probe. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead for that. Whoa, there's something going on in this nebula. Okay, test different combinations of digits until you find the sequence that matches the data key. One eternity later. Yay, we got it! <laughs> It looks like the Nakul have been eavesdropping on the comm traffic here. They might be using this gear to communicate with the Undine as well. Interesting. They were given access. The system Klingon... Sorry. The Klingons allowed them to tap into the system. Cooperation between the Nakul and, the, and rogue Klingons. That's not good news. The probe contained gear for temporal agents. Ooh. A kit module. Thank you. All right, let's move on with the mission. Please drop on the signal. Commander, the Klingons are using a low-frequency subspace carrier wave to send their stolen transmissions. We'll need to listen through the spectrum to figure out what the Klingons have heard and where they're sending it. Begin frequency scan. Klingons along the border of the sector. Redeploying tachyon sensors to pick up cloaked Klingon vessels. signal. That's valuable Starfleet deployment information, sir. This must be the signal that the Klingons are tapping. We need to trace the destination of that signal.
tracing the signal now. The Klingons are bouncing the signal off another repeater. You show up on the second repeater. All right. Back to carry wave on the signal from the repeater and track the signal to the source, sir. There is a listening base located between the binary moons of Bomari 2. Of course, to the moons of Bomari 2 laid in, sir. We can warp out on your command. Alright, let's warp to Bomari 2. I'm detecting a Klingon transporter disruption field around the listening post. The field is being maintained by three transport disruptors. We'll need to destroy them before we can transport down to the listening post. Alright. Oh, wait, there's one closer to us. Where is it? Up, down. Um, must be up. Down. Wow, sorry guys, I don't usually, there it is. I usually have a hard time finding these things in this game, but. Let's take care of it. Sensors show that the inhibitor field is weakening, sir. Scrambling field is down, sir. We can transport a team into the listening post as soon as you're ready. Let's do it. Sir, we've reached... Sorry, we have received authorization from Starfleet to destroy this facility. It is considered vital to our war effort to protect our transmissions from enemy 
perception. I recommend we plant spatial charges throughout the area. If we hit several parts of the structure at once, it should suffer a catastrophic failure. Let's see how those Klingon structural elements hold up against a few kilos of explosives. You recognize the locker as a storage container for Klingon weapons, probably disruptor pistols and batleths. If you can bypass the lock, you might find something useful. The security lock is not easy to compromise, but you can physically remove some of the circuits and replace them in a different order. If you can, get all of the circuits, circuit voltage into an ascending sequence, it may trip the lock. Alright, let's begin the bypass. Base is on alert, the Klingons know we're coming. Special charges are armed and ready, sir. We need to determine what kind of sensitive information this listening post has picked up. We'll need to blast our way into the computer core and upload their records, just like we did at the listening post in the Lackey system. Fortunately, our spatial charges should be able to blow through the security doors. Let's do this. Enemy target on center. Personal shield losing power. Door's locked down, but we can blast it with a spatial charge. That's what I'm assuming, she said, because it went too fast. Whoa. Okay, random Klingon. with my weapon. There you go. Yeah, I got your attention. Come on. Boom. Just making sure there's no treasure chest lying around. There's one. Two we got in here. Okay, I just ran into the crab. Let's 
sir, more Klingons. an Undine infiltrator. They must be manipulating this whole situation to pit the Klingons and the Federation against each other, and to get valuable intelligence into Klingon hands for the war. This makes it more critical than ever that we get this information back to Starfleet. We need to uplink the computer core to our ship's computer. Commander, sensors just picked up an Undine ship on the far side of the moon. They've beamed someone aboard and are heading into the comet debris. Please return to the ship immediately. Alright. Captain, the Klingons are fighting the Undine ship. With their help, we can defeat it. Alright. That is the sight of glory. Fans are hailing us, sir. You have aided us in battle, and I respect your bravery. In honor of your actions against the Undine, we will not destroy you today. Next time, you will not be so fortunate. Perhaps someday we'll fight on the same side again, Captain. Captain, I've set a course out of the system. I'll transmit the data we recovered to Starfleet as soon as we're clear of the area. Ready to leave on your command, sir. Alright, let's hail Starfleet. Good work. You're making quite a name for yourself in Starfleet. Okay, great. Thanks. Congratulations, oh. Lieutenant Commander. Oh, I just got a bunch of R&D holograms. Okay. Alright, well, let's head back to the bridge. that mission <laughs> um, yeah it wasn't bad you know I got a quick simple uh, ground mission we had the uh, very quick but fun space battles uh, especially against the Undine uh, we're getting deeper into the plot here and 
finding out that uh, Species A472 or the Undine is really trying to stir some shit up here in the Alpha Quadrant, especially between the Federation and the Klingons. Uh, what does the future hold for Starfleet and, and the Klingon Empire? There's only one way to find out. Tune in next week. Uh, I give this mission a uh, 3 out of 5. Uh, it was fine, it was good, but it was pretty short. Not as long as I was hoping it to be, uh, that I remember it being, but hey, whatever. It was still lots of fun. Anyways, tune in next week for the next episode in the Klingon War story arc of Star Trek Online. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you don't, you can give it a thumbs down. Uh, if you like this content and want to see more like it, click on that subscribe button and don't forget to click on the bell notification button so that you'll be notified when I upload videos. And uh, finally, check out uh, my other videos, past uh, Let's Plays and, and all that other good stuff. Alright everybody, see you next week.